What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is actually Misa's last day here. And of course, nothing like a true Misa. Wait till the last minute to do my car, right? I'm just trying to follow Kev's footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, part of the other present Kennedy got for me, so she did surprise me, well, she kind of surprised me with the roof, but she told me she was going to do it. And uh, she also is going to have Misa tint the rear taillights and then the front headlights as well, which if you guys don't know, my other front light has always had a small crack in it. So uh, hopefully it'll hide that now and you guys won't see that anymore. But anyways, they sell these pre-cut kits, but Misa doesn't like buying those. He just rather would buy the roll and cut it himself. Why is that? You just like to make your life harder? No, it's just... Well, for one, the the material that they use isn't most likely it's not Lux because Lux is expensive. Yeah. So they use cheaper materials and sometimes it doesn't have like full coverage. So I'd rather just I'll just get my own. Make my own. So he's already cleaned up the taillights. He's starting to make his little pre-cuts here, and uh, yeah, he's just gonna go at it. So. Getting the rears done, and then like I said, we're gonna tint the fronts as well. Is it the same? It's just the dark smoke or whatever? No, for the front, it's the light smoke. So for the front, it's the light smoke, which is probably a better way to go. That way you don't get in trouble. Although I don't drive it on the street as much anyways. What's Kevin got? Is this light or dark? Uh, it doesn't look too dark. Those are probably like a mid smoke. Mid. This is a medium. <laughs> Which I think that's what I got for yours actually, the mid. The mid? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because you can see, oh yeah, look how dark these are. <laughs> Those are definitely in the dark. This is why Kevin gets pulled over all the time. <laughs> and his weird looking wrap he's got on the side of the car. But anyways, so Miso finished the Viper. Pretty much he's got like one small piece left. How was the Viper? <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> it was a good time. It was a good uh, learning experience for sure. <laughs> it's something different. You guys won't see it yet, but you'll probably see it whenever Kevin makes a video on it. I'd love to show you guys. Trust me, I really want to show you, but I can't. I just can't. So, also today what I'll be doing is hopefully fixing the leak on the transmission pan. We get the car jacked up, pull the pan. I think I'm going to go do that at Joseph's actually later today. We're going to pull the pan, see if we can fix that. And uh, have some sweet. I can't believe Ken didn't like, keep this a secret for long at all. No, no, she blew it in like five seconds. She's like, hey, by the way, I got something to tell you. <laughs> like, did she tell you she watched the Breaking Bad movie without you? <laughs> she did. <laughs> wow, she told you about the roof. <laughs> <laughs> no, she did tell me she saw it. And because oh. it's funny, when I got back, she's like, oh, do you want to see the movie? And I was like, yeah, and she's like, I saw it already. Oh, cool, man. I don't want to see it anymore. She's <laughs> oh man, she ruins it. But yeah, so she did have me sort of wrap the roof, which I really like. Seeing the roof wrap makes me not want to wrap the car. I just like the orange with the black accents. All right, it's fucking done. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's hard to say. I like the color, and the color I'm gonna wrap the car is way different. This is like a bright color. The other one's more neutral. All right guys, so there is the finished product. Wrap the front headlights. We still need to do the fog lights actually, but did the front headlights. We had a lighter smoke, but it didn't look very good. So we did the darker smoke on the front as well as the rear. Looks super, super good. I really like it. I'm not usually a fan of tinted lights, but I think it looks really good with the orange and it just accents with all the other black accents that are going on with the car. So like I said, I think we're gonna do the fog lights before he heads out, but Misa is officially heading back to California for a few weeks. So we didn't end up wrapping the Mustang. He got too busy wrapping other cars and then finishing up the Viper, which you guys will see in one of Kevin's videos. But huge shout out to Kennedy. She did this for our two year anniversary. She had the lights tinted and then the roof wrapped. I think it looks super good. You guys let me know down below. I still can't decide. I have a color picked out. I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna wrap the car, but every time I see this orange and it's clean and then we do like little black accents, it just makes me wanna keep the orange that much more. But you guys let me know down below. I will see you guys in a little bit later over at Joseph's. Joe, someone's in my parking spot. 
It's not so. Is that it? Yeah. I don't know. What are we gonna do? I don't know who parked this here, but that's my spot. So Joe finally convinced him to do titanium. Look at that. Five inch compared to four inches. Big difference. Big difference. <laughs> that's big boy stuff. But it's pretty cool. So yeah, he's uh, what are you doing here, <laughs> by the way? Um, so I just cut it, and as I cut it, it ovaled it. So I'm trying to get it back no, circle, it so it'll fit good. I just I had it all done, <laughs> and I had it sticking out, and I'm like, man, it's like a half an inch too long. So uh, I just trimmed it a half an inch, and then I should just left it alone. Probably. I, you know, like oh, it fits so perfect too, and now it's not lining up good. Oh man. <laughs> but in the quest of getting it perfect, this here is, I am. This is what happens when you try and go for perfection. Yeah. So yeah, he's putting a titanium exhaust on. It's gonna look super cool. He got a new trim ring. Still says glory hole, of course. You gotta keep it with glory hole, it just looks good. But uh, yeah, that's the difference between five inch and four inch. So, that's pretty much all you're doing to your car, right? Oh, you're waiting on a bunch of parts though. Joe's waiting on a bunch of parts. Talk about those in another video. But he's waiting on a bunch of stuff, so he's just, just really messing around. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, killing time, playing around. <laughs> You're bored without me here. Why'd you drive the streetcar? Do you hear we're supposed to get snow tomorrow? I feel something in the air. I don't know. Like, I started my snowblower. <laughs> I was I was in my shed doing other stuff for the house, and I had it out. I'm like, well, I'll go ahead and start it. Because, like, I was watching this one. Like, none of the weathermen are saying we're going to get a lot of snow. They're saying, like, one to three inches. But I'm on one of those, like, weather pages on Facebook oh, where man. they just, like, post the raw data. Yeah. And, like, one of the models says Amarillo's going to get eight inches of snow. <laughs> Granted, I, I'm sure we're not going to get that, and that's why the weathermen aren't reporting that, but wouldn't that be funny? And next week will be a streetcar takeover in Dallas. Oh, yeah, next week it'll be <laughs> super warm, and yeah. So, yeah, Joe's not going to streetcar takeover in Dallas, but he'll be at streetcar takeover in Oklahoma City, which they're not doing rolls at, but supposedly the track prep is supposed to be on kill. Like kill. Radial prep or just good prep? Um, well, they're bringing in a third-party company. It's going to be legit. So, it's pretty good prep at Oklahoma City. Joe has, obviously, a good chance of winning. I don't, because I have to be in the same class. They need to fix their classes. Yeah, their classes aren't good. Yeah, like, so it goes from Street Racer Mild, which is a 950 cap, and then it goes Street Racer Open, which is, like, Joseph. No, not even <laughs> and even faster I'm people. Not, yeah, I'm not, I don't plan on winning the Street Racer class this time, because there's, like, four guys that are going for 690s there. What? So yeah, they go from 950s to 690s. <laughs> Bottom seven. Makes sense. It's like 950 to 150, 690 to 200. The record's what, 716 now? 714, 760. Yeah, Derek <laughs> Kelly owns the record. <laughs> but there's like four guys that are trying to do it this time. They all want to make the cruise and run a 690 streetcar style before the year end. Seeing all the cars that are in that mild, like 950, they're all probably eight second cable cars they are sandbagging. Yeah, they're just turning it down. <laughs> yeah, and I don't want to do that because I'm trying to make some actual quarter mile hits. So I probably won't do that great at Streetcar Taylor, but I'm just really there to make some quarter mile hits. Yeah, plus that's the thing is like, you'll be able to break your personal best and maybe a record there because yeah. the prep's going to be insane. The yeah. air's going to be good. So Dallas, eh, we'll see what happens. Dallas, <laughs> I've heard their prep ain't the best. Yeah. They, ha they have the capability to buy a loaf i will paypal someone ten dollars if they get that uh, joke get that. yeah <laughs> seriously seriously comment down below if you get that joke and can tell me all about it i will paypal you 10 bucks no lie but anyways um <laughs> they have the capability to prep a track but um i don't know why they just can't for Maybe it's street event. car events plus I don't know. it's they got roll racing yeah, they got roll racing so i think their give a damn's just busted yeah so there's a private track on the day before yeah, you should go that. Now, it turns an expensive weekend to a more expensive weekend. Quit being a little <laughs> But yeah, so I do need to get my car over and fix the leaking issue we have. <laughs> yeah, we do. No, your driveway's you got all my stains all over I know, I'm glad my wife, you can see some of them. Dude, mine came out with using the C16 and you've got plenty of C16. <laughs> I'm not pouring it on the ground. I use C16, it got the stains out of my concrete, so. Oh. <laughs> That's how you get stains out, by the way. So here, come check out this in the light now. Check this out. And we're about to see, we'll get a poll on how many um, pie cuts I should do for the bullhorn. There's a big debate going on. Dude. Oh, that's gonna look sick. Yeah, can you show us good. how far it's gonna stick out? Because you've changed your mind. Seven well, okay, times. so here I got some pictures. We'll see what they say. I took these last oh, night. Man. So these are four or six pie cuts. We'd had done more. Okay, yeah, I, I got them all. So first, this is what David wanted me to do. Get to focus on that. 
Oh, no, we're gonna have to go manual here. Manual focus. But look at that, that that's eight pie cuts. Like, it hits you if you're walking by it five feet away. It stuck out far. I wish I had a better... Do you got it focused yet? Mm. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, this was excessive. I don't have any other pictures, but this was eight pie cuts. So then... Hold on. Don't move your camera. Oh, boy. Don't move. So then, I did these two last night. And I couldn't... Should still be focused. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, the top one's four pie cuts. The bottom one's six pie cuts. We're going to get some actual video here in a sec of what it's looking like. But, like, I don't know. None of them look good to me. Like, I'm, I'm really torn. So, comment below what you think. After you commented what that reference was. Buy a loaf? <laughs> yeah, it, uh, the capability to buy a loaf. Okay. $10. I mean, it's 10 bucks. You, I've, you've made so much money off me. I think I'm going to Google it. Yeah, 10 bucks. <laughs> and uh, so, David said he's pitching in 10 bucks, too. No. So, $20. <laughs> 10 from me, 10 from David, if you can get that reference. Oh, man. Um, it, I guarantee you someone's going to get it, and they're going to be over the age of 35. Okay. So, this is the four pie cuts. Four pie cuts. Here from all angles here. This is the shorter version. Looks pretty good from there. I like it. I think it looks pretty good. This this is probably my winning winning one right now. I think the, what the problem is is the pie cuts are loose radius, not tight yeah, radius. Yeah, because usually it comes. It, normally it's tight, yeah. and these aren't that tight. Yeah, like this looks open. It, it almost does, but then I look at these, and these look tight radius. Yeah. And it's the same pie cut. I don't know. That looks killer. Okay, so you got that. We're going to add two more. And so see now we're going to add two more. Or it'd look even funnier. All right, so this is with six pie cuts. So it kind of sticks out there. I think we figured out why. Yeah, it just, yeah, it doesn't flow. It's, it doesn't look right It's anymore. sticking out too yeah. much. Yeah, but you guys good. let us know down below what you think. Joe's literally been thinking about this for three nights in a row. You can't decide. Yeah, you can't decide. And like, I thought I'd fab the rest while I was wasting time. And I still don't have to decide right this. Like, I'm going to start welding all these. Yeah, you've got plenty so of So I still there. got several days to make them mine. But yeah, no, I'm still... See, and like, should I add more? Does it need to be turned up more? I think that angle's about right. Yeah. See, because from right here, I'm like, man, it's pretty cool. The more welds, the better, but... Man, from the front, it sticks out way too much. Yeah, and that's not even, we had two more on it the other <laughs> night when we were messing with it. <laughs> we, I had the great idea to have it way out there. Yeah. I wanted a flame. You burner. almost had me convinced, too. <laughs> almost. So, like, we had it, and we were looking at it, I'm like, man, I don't know, I don't know. And then he had me convinced. I was looking, I was like, right here, looked good. And then I left. <laughs> And then that morning, I forgot something. I'd come right back and I opened the garage and I saw it. And I'm like, oh, absolutely <laughs> not. That is the stupidest thing in the world. It looked like what a, I actually say would get this whole thing demonetized. <laughs> it looked like an elephant husk or something. It did not look good. <laughs> so you guys let us know down below. The longer or the shorter. Joe's shorter. got one other option, but I, which I really think you should do. But. So the other option, I'll tell them. The other option is my last one was teardrop. So the other option is to keep adding pie cuts to make this 90 degrees and then cut it to teardrop it. Yes. So we'd have a teardrop pie cuts and you can look at the- I'm always teardrop. a fan of teardrop. I, the teardrop and always I looks good. I haven't seen someone that have teardrop pie cuts. Can you do that? Would it look weird? I think it'll look weird. Cause like depending, you're gonna have a weld end here, a weld end here, oh, a weld end yeah. here. I don't know how it'd look. Maybe you can't do it. Well, you can, but it might not look right. And yeah, do I really want to risk two hundred dollars in titanium to try it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you guys, let us know down below. The shorter, the longer. I think the shorter is what's kind of looking better with the car. But the titanium is gonna look good. You're gonna see all the welds out here, and then when he takes the hood off, gonna be some sick pie cuts right there. Where's and that? so another thing, we're just going to have like 10 comments below. <laughs> another thing I'm torn on, oh, man. which we didn't put it on your car, um, but like I'm still even debating if it will look good on my car. Hey, I've got two of those. I know, we got so two of them. So the problem is we couldn't find a good spot for couldn't the find, Fab like, by there's Joe. There's a pretty good spot on mine, but I almost think like it kind of makes it look cheap. It's Yeah, because you're interrupting the pipe. Yeah, like it looks so good as it is. Yeah. You add this on there, and it's like, oh, just it doesn't really go. I need to figure out a spot for those. Yeah, they need to go somewhere else. Like, I mean, this would, would almost be, cool, be better. Yeah, like a plate on the car yeah. Somewhere. Than this, this looks cheap. Or like, you know, <laughs> there we go. I'm just gonna leave it there. 
Let's go. Can we but, tack that on there? It'll be fine. Huh. But yeah, I think yeah, maybe a plate, kind of like how they put plates on like the firewalls. Yeah, yeah that's and stuff. Really good. That looks good. Yeah, that looks good. No, the four is definitely the one, and it was. It did stick out half an inch farther. Like I wanted to curve it and get it closer here. Yeah, I like how it, this looks. No, right that looks now. good. Yeah. The titanium is gonna look good. Did you weigh it? I haven't weighed. It. I should take it off right now and put it on the scale. Very yeah. interesting. It's gonna be. What'd you say? A third of it? Half of it? Well, no, it's a third of stainless. Right? It's. A, yeah, close. So it's 40% of stainless, so a little more than a third. So aluminum is supposed to be 50% of stainless and titanium's 40% of stainless. So my aluminum one weighs four and a half pounds. <laughs> so in theory, this one's gonna weigh four even. Like, hey, I definitely didn't do this for You're not days. spending $700 to save half a pound. This is for the cool hey, factor. This was not so it's not. It's a little more. <laughs> That's how you really kick someone in there. Return it. <laughs> I'd really like for you to move this car, though. I don't know why it's sitting there. It's because it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Oh, okay. So I, I need it warm for me tomorrow morning. <laughs> Ain't that nice? My wife parks outside. <laughs> So you guys comment down below. Comment if you know what bio. She's got a remote start, by the way. Oh. She'll be fine. It doesn't and happen. she chose to park outside. She wanted, we have a basement in the house, and she wanted the basement, and that was our reason. It was like, hey, I'll take the whole garage. You can have the basement. It's a pretty fair trade. And that's how Guys, comment down below if we should knock this no, one out. No more commenting. <laughs> no one's going to watch this video. Uh, comment down below. <laughs> no, yeah. I, so at one point, see how I got a cubby hole right here? We're knocking this sucker down. Yeah, so at one point, we talked about this wall right here. This is just our backyard, and we just use it for trash right there. There's nothing there. So at one point, I wanted to knock down this wall and move it so my garage was this big all the way down. Yes. But um, if well, you're a general contractor in Amarillo, Texas, <laughs> call me. But this is not the same level. How would that work? Did you have what to make mean? this higher? Huh? What? Did you have to bring that level up? I don't know. Well, I'm not gonna put a car over here. Where am I supposed to park? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> All right, guys, so we are back at the house. Misa ended up not having time to wrap the fog lights. So I'm actually gonna wrap these. I tried wrapping them <laughs> with the bumper on and it was just an ultimate fail. The reason why is because it's really hard to like tuck it because the bumper is like touching the fog light there. So I finally took the bumper off and remove the fog light, so then I'll remove that one. It should be a lot easier to wrap, and then this way you can carry the tent over and not have to worry about having like super clean cuts because the bumper will cover it like right here and then right on the edge over there. So I'm gonna clean these down with some rubbing alcohol. We're using some Lux tent film that we have left over from doing the headlights and the taillights, which looks super good. And if it doesn't turn out that good, I'll just take it off and have Misa finish it when he gets back. But he didn't have time to actually finish up the fog lights, so we're gonna attempt them. All right, so I was trying to use some of the scraps to use the matching dark film, but we're out of scraps. So we're just gonna use some of the light gray smoke. That way it's got somewhat of a tint to it. It won't match perfectly, but at least it'll have somewhat of a tint to it. And we've got plenty of these to go through. All right, so I got one done. So here's the good thing about taking the fog light off is David's biggest downfall in life is he can't cut straight lines. So my wrapping and tinting career, it will never excel. But because there's so much extra lens on these that actually hides behind the bumper, you don't have to worry about cutting good lines as long as you're covering the spots that's actually gonna be shown. So you can see my line up here sucks, but that's all gonna be covered by the bumper. And the good thing about overlapping is a, you won't cut anything short, which is what I did with a couple scrap pieces I had. And B, there won't be anything that can peel the corners up because they'll be hiding behind the bumper. So let's put this one in and see how it looks. 
So now it looks like I have really clean cuts because I tucked it behind the bumper. So you can't really tell in the video, but it's definitely darker up top. However, since it sits kind of like below the bumper and underneath it, it actually doesn't look that far off. So I'm gonna get the other fog light pulled and then I'll show you guys what it looks like with the bumper back on the car. Okay, so you can definitely see the fog light is a little bit lighter, but at least it's smoked now. So obviously when Misa comes back, we'll get some more dark smoke and redo the fog lights, but I think that looks pretty good. I definitely think the tinted light looks really good, especially with the orange, but I promise you in the next video, we will go pull the parachute on the street or on the highway somewhere. We just got, I got caught up doing some stuff today and with Misa leaving today, we had a bunch of stuff to do before he left. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of the tinted headlights and the tail lights. I still need to, uh, I still want to, I think I want to tint the little red markers in there. You can barely see them, but during the day you can definitely tell if they're still red. But let me know what you guys think down below. I think it looks really good, especially against the orange. I think it looks really good. So a couple videos coming up. We'll do pulling the parachute and then we've got to get the transmission leak fixed before streetcar takeover next week. So that's big on the list. I also got a boost Omega box, which will actually allow me to log the boost through the end gauge. So before we were kind of just like putting a phone or a GoPro trying to watch the boost levels while we were driving. So that's how we were knowing what boost level we were at. Plus we were remembering what percentage we were at for the boost level. So in my boost controller, you set a percentage of duty cycle and that actually sets your boost pressure. But I didn't actually have a way to log the boost pressure, but Lund actually makes this really cool Omega box that plugs into the back of the end gauge. And now we can start logging the boost pressure and see it on the end gauge, which will be a lot easier. And now it'll make our logs a lot more effective because we can see the boost level and see everything else at the same time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. We'll get that installed here this week, but uh, just trying to tidy some things up for next week's streetcar takeover. Let me know what you guys think of the tinted lights and let me know if you guys think I should still wrap the Mustang. Oh, I like this orange so much. It's really hard to say. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, Vami39. I'll see you guys on the next one.